What's going on guys? I'm here with one of my clients, Clayton, who just added 50K to his video business. What's going on, Clayton? How are you, man? What's up? Hey, so yeah, I'm doing great. I mean, learning the system, implementing, and uh, you know, it could be could be quicker in the implementation, but uh I'm really thankful to Well, have even learned. though you're you've been slower to it, it's like uh, you're still still making money, dude. Still I guess profitable, even though yeah. I'm slow. <laughs> yeah. I guess for anybody who maybe doesn't know you, kind of your background, do you mind just giving us a little bit of background on kind of you, what you do and what your production company does? Sure. So we do um, mainly just video content for service businesses and help them build out their video sales funnel. So we run their top of a funnel ads yep. uh, or we, we create their top of funnel ads. We make their landing page assets. We make um, any pre-appointment videos that they need and just nurturing content that you know, converts. So that's, sure. that's what we do. And then I've partnered with uh, one of my media buyer, media buyer friends who, um, you know, we both need each other. He has clients that need content. I have clients that need ads run. So nice. I love it, man. And yeah. you're based in Nashville, right? Correct. Yep. Sweet. That well, city. Dude, I know that I, I know when you first came in, you had booked a call with us, I think. Right. Yeah. And then you were like, yeah, maybe it's not the right fit for me or whatever. And then I think you came back and you were like, hey, can I just like pay for a one off session with you? And then I think we did that. And then it was like something about, I think, limiting beliefs around your pricing. Correct. And then we fixed that. And then you closed the 10K from there. And then you're like, all right, fine, I'll join the full thing. <laughs> now we're at 50 and then we're, we're going from there. I guess what was yeah. kind of that biggest problem when you first jumped in with us? So, yeah, I had entered the funnel like probably six months prior. Okay. And, you know, Danny was on my butt, like, bro, hey, let's talk, let's talk. I had gotten on a call with him, but yep. I was premature. Um, and then I had a question around my pricing, right? And I DM'd you specifically and was like, hey, I've got this project I've just completed. I feel like I'm undercharging and I need some confidence to like know what the heck I'm doing here. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was going to charge, I think, 6K for it. And I realized that was severely underpriced and you wanted me to go to like 20 and I ended up going, like, to I don't want to do 20. And then yeah. I was like, I can't do that because there, yeah. they would be like, what the heck's going on. But, um, I ended up going to 10 and you were like, DM me when the, when the contract, when the invoice is paid. And I was like, all right. So I just sent it. No questions. Boom. They paid it. Yep. Um, and I was like, crap, well, that's 4k right there. And I paid you like yep. 500 bucks for a call. And, yep. uh, yeah. So then I was like, well, uh, that's way better. And, and then you're this, thinking like, how much, how many other projects did I not charge as much as I should have on? And I yeah. should have charged more. Yeah. And I was yeah. really uh, excited about, you know, I approached the hundred K number last year. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, Hey, that's, you know, for just figuring it out and not yep. really knowing a system, I felt like that was pretty good. But now, you know, into July, I'm sitting at, over that so far halfway through the year already yeah yeah so you've already and, pretty much doubled the business at this point to this year yeah yeah and right. so i'm like you know 300 400k is not out of reach in this year so i'm like heck yeah um yeah so yeah i think the the pricing and the limiting beliefs there just uh realizing and the more i see other people charging it like in the program they're like just yeah. close a 130k deal for 12 months and i'm like you're like what the what heck the what the heck is that? Yeah. Now, like that's a lot of deliverables, but like still. But you hire people to do it, right? It's like you yeah. you hire a team, you have money to do it. And I, I think, it, like you said, it's like, it's super cliche, but it's like getting around people who are charging more than you to push you up because you are yeah. the average of those people you hang around with. If you're hanging around people who charge little amounts of money, then like that's that right. mindset's going to seep to you yeah. versus people who are charging more, right? So yeah, it's insane. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm very, I'm, uh, I'm thankful and I'm still moving forward, even though I'm thankful, but I'm still like, yeah, this isn't it yet. No, so. no. I think you have to have, you have to have that mindset of like, cool, I got here, but that's not enough anymore. And like, I talk to my sales team and my, my team members and everybody on my team about this all the time, but it's like, you, you can't be satisfied with where you're at, right? Because if you hit mm -hmm. that number, you have to keep wanting more and you can't be happy with that. You have to keep getting to that next level and keep pushing yourself because there's always new levels of growth, no matter yeah. where you're at in business at the end of the cool. day. And know? I think you can do it in a sustainable way. That's what I'm working yeah. on. I get tunnel vision sometimes and I'm like, this is all that matters. Yeah. But yeah. truly it's not. So I'm like, how do I balance that? But that's that's the newest. Uh, that's the next step. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 100%.
I guess like why why did you choose this program over maybe some of the other programs out there? Like because obviously there's some other ones out there as well. I mean, I actually when I DM'd you about the call, mm -hmm. I DM'd another guy about the call too. Okay, cool. And, uh, <laughs> so yeah, and they didn't get back to me, and I was like, well, and you were like, hey, I'll do it, and I'm like, great. So then yeah. you know worked the, I mean fine it just works so i was like yeah why not and you're like cool i made money from this so why wouldn't it work again and then yeah. it has and you keep going from there yeah and i've seen the millions of riverside testimonials where you but know you're on right now dude. <laughs> yeah i've seen them all and i'm like yeah. yeah i mean i'm not that special come on it's gonna work for me so yeah. um yeah that's kind of that's kind of yeah, i think lot. it's it's that mindset like you said it's like it's people who are not successful say, will it work for me? People who are successful say, how can I make it work for me? Because at the end of the day, everything works. It's like yeah. you go to the like losing weight. I use this all the time. Go to the gym, eat less, work out. You're going to lose weight. You're going to build muscle, right? Same thing with business. You take the actions that are necessary to get there. It will work for you. But the people who are not successful are the people who come in. They're like, oh, is it going to work? Am I, you know, is this going to work for my business? Because I'm a special, special snowflake and I can't do, right. you know, X, Y, and Z. It's like, yes, it will if you make it work. But you right. can make anything not work if you want that. Totally. As well. So that's yeah. kind of the, the mindset at the end of the day you have to come in with. And that's one of the things we want to obviously instill in you guys when you come in the program. It's like, this will work. It has worked for 412 other people. You got to make it work for you at the end of the day. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's where I'm at now is like, yeah, I know I, I haven't been as uh, uh, studious <laughs> and uh, following everything to an exact T with my timelines and everything. So that's and you're still I'm... you're still getting results, dude. I mean, that's why I get, sometimes you just need to kick in the pants, get back on the calls, and let's keep rolling and, and keep uh, making yeah. more money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So totally, yeah. that's where I'm at now. Is uh, is and there's been pivotal moments where I'm like, oh, okay, that was a high leverage decision. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. Like one thing was targeting my um, my other agency partners, where I'm like, hey, yep. you're a media buyer. You you don't focus on content. You uh, you just need a content arm for your mm -hmm for your agency, let us be that. Yeah. Sent that to one guy. I texted it to him. It was a very targeted ad. Yep. <laughs> and he was like, yo, this sounds awesome. Let's hop on a call. Sent me yep. two clients the same day. Yep. So worth almost 20K. Yep. So it's like, it's like, okay. And then, you know, I'm gonna kill it for them. They have already come back again. The one of the clients has already come back again and we're yep. doing the exact same thing. So that's another almost 10K. So it's like just uh you know yep. making those high leverage moves it doesn't take it's super boring and you're like why is this like it's yeah. so i don't know if it's like that for everybody but i'm like dude I just, it is I just it's don't. the it's the little it's the little hinges that swing those big doors at the end of the day right it's like it's those little things that can move the business forward that's that's honestly what it comes down to at the end of the day yeah um so and i guess like what was there any particular part about the program that's been helpful for you up to this point like is there anything particularly that you've experienced I really liked, I really, the sales process mm -hmm. is um, something that I'm really enjoying and I can see myself progressing in. It's fun, man. It's so fun. When you get them to talk yes. the whole time, it's like, dude, I just freaking owned that. Yep. Um, and there's times like I'll have a really good one. And then sometimes it's a flow, you know, like if you do it yep. more often, you do it better more often. So. Yep. My, 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 what I'm working on now is just staying in that state of awareness and of sales flow, because yep. since deals are sometimes, or calls are sometimes few and far between, it's harder to stay in that mindset. But yep. when I can get in it, that's so fun. Yeah. yeah I love it. hundred percent, man. I um, love it. And, yeah. um, kind of a weird question, but I guess like, where do you feel like you might've been if you hadn't taken the leap? and join the program? Cause obviously it's scary, mm -hmm. right? To invest sure. in yourself. But I guess yeah. like what, where do you think you might've been if you hadn't taken that leap? If I hadn't taken that leap, I mean, I'd probably be, I always knew that ads and things would work and that putting your offer out there and like Alex says, mm -hmm. Uncle Alex, he's always like, Uncle just Alex. tell more people about your stuff. Yep. And I can tell everyone else to do that. And it's really easy cause I know that's how it works. But when it's for me, I'm like, you know, I got enough people who know. But <laughs> and so it's like, do I really need to shove it down people's throat? And the answer is yes. So yep. literally just having the accountability and the someone who's asking you about your progress, like helps push it forward. So without it, I'd just probably be 
I mean, I'd, I'd probably be farther along than I was when I joined, but not as far as I would, as I am now. So it's like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm growth focused as it's I am. It's all about speed, right? It's speed but of it's implementation. Speed. It's if you can get there, you know, 50% faster, that's half the time, right? So it's yeah. like, it's Definitely. at the end of the day, you know, when I'm investing in things, I'm not investing because I can't figure it out. Like I probably could right. eventually I'm paying yeah. because I want to figure it out tomorrow and not in, you know, five months. Right. Exactly. And that's, that's where it's just, you're paying for the speed of implementation at the end of the day. So correct. I would not have, I'd probably be at half to a, a third of the revenue I've brought in so yeah. far this year. What I always say too, it's like, whether you decide to go with this program or another program or whatever it may be, it comes down to like, we only have so much time in our life to do things. And yeah. so like, I would rather not waste the time, spend money, make more money, doesn't matter. Do yeah, that as opposed to like spending, you know, two years trying to figure something out that somebody else has already figured out for you. You know, right. makes no sense. Exactly. 100%, yeah, dude. Um, and then last question, I guess, like what, if somebody's maybe on the fence about potentially booking a call, speaking with us, and joining the program, I guess, what advice would you give them knowing what you know now? I'd say my $500 call was worth it. So a free call would definitely be worth it. <laughs> yep. And just for everybody else, I don't do those anymore. So don't come asking, don't come asking for a $500 call, one-off call. Yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to No, you're me. good, dude. You're good. Uh, but yeah, so I'd say the value you can get from that and like, um, yeah, just 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 talk with them and and talk with you or whoever whoever knows the system really well and just also watch the videos of everyone else who yeah. have done it. Listen to what they've done, where they came from and realize that you're not that different. Even yeah. if you have, "Oh, my niche is different though." Yeah, who cares though? Yeah. Like, "Oh, my area, I can't do it in my area." It's like, "Bro, can't. whatever, dude. Just yeah. like you either you have excuses or you have results." And at the end of the day, winners yeah. make it work losers yeah. have excuses so yeah and they can uh i mean you're already doing it then if you really don't think it's going to work then why are you even in this industry right like you shouldn't be you shouldn't be doing this in the first place then yeah yeah you can't so. have an ego about things dude like i there's stuff i don't know i invest in people it's like if you're not at the place you want to be if you're physically not where you want to be it means you don't know something right right and i think some people get that ego oh, i've been in the industry for 20 years or 15 years it's like yeah but you're not at 500k a year or a million a year so fundamentally, right. you don't know something that's holding you back. Yeah. And so either invest in learning the knowledge or be okay with the level you're at right now. So. Yeah. And I will say uh, the last thing I would tell them is, look, it's so valuable to know what everyone else is doing, who is doing it right. Yeah. Because if my if I had some like mentees that were that, because I talked to people who are younger than me, 20 year olds, 18 year olds yep. that are doing this and they're like, yeah, I just booked a retainer or I booked a gig for 500 bucks. I'm like, great but realize that i will charge 10k for that same thing <laughs> so, yeah yeah oh, hey. so yeah. like it's just... like being kept in the loop of what what's going on because everything's always changing all the time and like right. any updates that we see in our business we pass on to you guys and that's also right. an added benefit obviously of doing this is knowing what those updates are because things yeah. are constantly changing you know yeah and your sales process like if i'm in the slack wins community and i'm seeing people book, you know, a 10 K project left and right, 15 K project left and right. I have no problem saying, yeah, this project's going to cost 10 to 15 K. Yeah. It's, it's like, bro, they're doing it and they booked it. So I'm not weird for, it's kind of like that, like social bias where you're like, okay, yeah. if other people are doing it, I now have the confidence to do it myself, exactly. even though nothing's actually changed with what you're offering. Right. You're just, you right. just think that you can charge more. Yeah. yeah. It's all a mental frame. And, and I think that's super, super valuable. 100% man. Well, dude, I appreciate your time. I'm gonna let you get back to closing deals and uh, let's keep going from here. All right, man. Sounds good. Thank you. Of course.